Hello there, minions. It's Wheezy's voice. Today, we're gonna watch a gameplay of Modern Warfare 3, and I'm gonna just talk to you about my initial thoughts on Modern Warfare 3 after the first full launch weekend as we watch this long countdown. Uh, give you some impressions, talk to you about the good, the bad, the ugly, the potentially fantastic. Um, so, in this gameplay, uh, I was completing a challenge, I believe, probably a daily challenge for using tax stamps to get kills. Uh, I don't know if it required it to be with a battle rifle, uh, but that's what I'm using. And this battle rifle is actually quite a solid weapon. Um, yeah, I was checking my daily challenges. Hey, guess what? Unlike Modern Warfare 2, just like Modern Warfare 2019, you can check your daily challenge progress in the game! There... For those of you who are around here, you know that I talked about with Modern Warfare 2, 2022, what I wanted was essentially... Oh man, I almost had a good, a good set there. Uh, what I wanted was Modern Warfare 2019, which was... Which is my favorite Call of Duty game of all time. I just wanted a slightly better version of that. And Modern Warfare 2 changed so much stuff. It, it did time box perks and all the things I've complained about for a year on Modern Warfare 2. Bad maps, blah, 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 blah. Modern Warfare 3, so far, seems to be what I wanted. In that it seems to be a better version of Modern Warfare 2019. <gasps> So, I am cautiously optimistic this early in the game. Um, because again, it's too early to tell. And there are some major issues, I will say. Well, I mean, even when I say that, there's one major issue in Modern Warfare 3, and that is the spawn system. It is absolute garbage. Um, but despite that, it hasn't entirely ruined the game for me yet. Um, I will say that the spawns do feel slightly better uh, than they did in the beta, on the maps obviously that were in the beta, but some of, you know, some of the maps that weren't in the beta, the spawns are atrociously bad. Um, I've heard several people talking about the hardpoint spawns, which yes, are, are bad, I think kind of in general, um, but even team deathmatch spawns and kill confirmed, like, Domination as well, sometimes on some maps. Uh, matter of fact, yesterday I was on Quarry, I think, and we held two of the three flags and like five spawns in a row. It spawned me next to the other team's only owned flag, even though there was like four of them there. So it was like four of them and me over and over and over again for like four or five spawns. It was awful. Um, so that is, but that is, something that they've already improved from the beta, so they are capable of improving it. Um, will it get completely fixed? Call of Duty spawns are never perfect, right? I'm not expecting that. But I would say right now, in Modern Warfare 3, they are the worst Call of Duty spawns I can remember experiencing. That doesn't necessarily mean they're the worst ever, because, you know, I, I didn't play a whole lot of some of the more recent uh, Call of Duty games, like in Infinite Warfare and Ghosts and shit like that. Um, look at that, checking my, my challenge progress. Um, but yeah, I have, I, I can't remember the last time Call of Duty spawns were this consistently bad across, like, every map and game mode. Um, so that's something that definitely needs to be fixed. The weapon balance was a major issue in the beta that has been mostly fixed. For the full release. They nerfed the striker properly. The striker is absolutely not the meta right now. Um, to the point where I wouldn't say the striker is useless, but it's not great. Um, uh, assault rifles and some of the battle rifles are quite powerful uh, right now. They're, they're kind of the meta. Specifically, the Holger uh, 5.56, the, the G36 assault rifle, is not ridiculously overpowered, but it's probably one of the most consistent assault rifles in the game that's fully auto, um, so it's quite good right now. Uh, the other one is the DG-56, which is a burst. Looks kind of like a FAMAS, although different one, I, I don't know. DG-56, burst rifle, is a beast, because it's a laser beam, and it can one-burst people, but even if it's not a one-burst, it's a consistent two-burst, so the time to kill on it is consistently fast, which, as I said in the beta, 
where you have to be careful with a longer time to kill is if you're not careful with weapon balance, the weapons with the fastest time to kill very quickly rise to the top of the meta, especially if they are significantly faster, right? So one hit kill weapons also tend to gain popularity among people that can use them. The, uh, I forget the name of it, but essentially the AK sniper rifle um, is a, a not as much of a one hit kill as like the big 50 cal sniper, um, but enough that it's become pretty common among people who like using snipers. Um, but yeah, weapon balance is quite a bit better than it was in the beta. Now, of course, there's more they can do, and, and I'm sure there's more that they will do. Weapon balance across Call of Duty games is has always been an ongoing process, going all the way back to COD 4 when the, when they had to, you know, rebalance um, some of those weapons. I'm trying to think. Actually, did they even rebalance COD 4? Anyway, since early on, weapon balance has been something that has needed to be worked on, and um, I guess probably since Modern Warfare 2 is when they started spending more time rebalancing weapons when they had to fix, like, the Akimbo 1887s and, and stuff like that, but... Anyway, right now, those are my two biggest concerns with Modern Warfare 3. And that said, they have not sign... Well, they have not ruined my enjoyment of the game. I was about to say they have not significantly impacted my enjoyment of the game. Every time I get fucked by a shitty spawn, it's really irritating. I'll be on a good streak, and then literally, I'll, you know, like a 5-6 kill streak, and then the game will literally spawn four enemies... 15 feet from me like it'll flip their spawn to right next to me and it's just like how dare you <laughs> um so but in general i'm really enjoying the game i am it, you know it's at that point right now maybe it's the honeymoon phase although i didn't have a whole lot of that with uh bad call of duties where it's just playing really solid right now i do really enjoy the longer time to kill um, it gives you time to react to things. It puts an emphasis on gun skill. Um, and I just think overall makes the game feel more deliberate and more tactical. And it feels a lot less like you just get insta-deleted by bullshit. Um, it does make it, I won't say more frustrating when that does happen. But since it's a lot more rare, because you basically have to be killed by like either an overpowered weapon, which... Like I said, the DG-56 might be the worst offender right now, along with the G-36, other than the one-hit kill snipers, which is just how they work. Um, those can still feel like, oh man, I just got instantly deleted. But other than that, it's really, uh, it's really playing really solid. I'm realizing uh, that even though I, I stand behind what I said in the beta, that there weren't really any Modern Warfare 2, original Modern Warfare 2 maps uh, that I really disliked. There were some that were my favorites and some that weren't. Uh, that's still true, and since those are the maps that are in Modern Warfare 3, uh, it has led to a good experience with all of the maps so far. That said, there are definitely some that are not my favorites, um, and, and I, you know, realize, man, these are a lot bigger than I remember. Quarry is way bigger than I remember it being. Um, again, which doesn't make it bad, but, uh, can make some of the game modes feel a little bit more running simulator-ish. Uh, Karachi is another one of those that feels really big. And even though they have a lot of paths, they manage not to feel like labyrinths or mazes like some of the modern, modern, the modern, modern Warfare 2. The most recent Modern Warfare 2 new maps did, where they felt just random and stupid. Um, so I'm enjoying the maps, even though, you know, some of them aren't my faves. Um, and some of them are, are, like I said, quite a bit bigger than I remember. Um, to the point where... I've always used Favela as an example of kind of a big, unnecessarily, you know, complex as far as, like, altitude and places to watch map. But I think even in Modern Warfare 2, there are offenders worse than Favela. But anyway, I digress. Modern Warfare 3 right now is playing really well. It's fantastic. It is... It has the potential of being my favorite Call of Duty because of the fact that it is taking everything that Modern Warfare 2019 did right and doing a lot of those things just slightly better. I'm even really enjoying the changes they made to like the equipment system for perks because because of the way that it's currently balanced with those perks, I don't have just like one go-to set of perks that is on every class. I have 
different setups of perks and combinations of equipment based on the playstyle of the weapon I'm using in that class. So I'll probably make a, a video to go through some of those examples of kind of the classes and the weapons that I'm enjoying. Um, but yeah, there's there's a lot more variety even in my playstyles that I can use with the different loadouts um, that I'm really enjoying. Like, so, you know, uh, some of my classes are running like Overkill, where I'm running two primary, so I can run like a longer range uh, marksman rifle with a shotgun as a secondary, and there's just some really neat uh, combinations that you can do that you can't really build like a this is the best combination. Because one of the things they've done with the vests, right, is you may gain a perk from it, but you would lose your tactical equipment or you would lose your lethal grenade. Um, and that really forces you to make some decisions on your builds. And yeah, really enjoying that right now too. So yeah, those are kind of my initial thoughts on Modern Warfare 3. So far, for the multiplayer at least, it is fantastic. I'm really enjoying it. Let me know what you guys think. Oh yeah, look, reload canceling's back, right? It took me a few matches, probably took me the first day or two to relearn my muscle memory that I can reload cancel again. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of this game. Uh, are you guys enjoying it? Uh, if you enjoyed my video, give me a like. If you guys are new around here, subscribe. You can dislike if you don't like me. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.